Hey guys, welcome back to Bruins the Smack Club. Today's topic is area of parallelogram. So today we'll be learning how to calculate the area of a parallelogram. So before we get started, let's review a few basic key points about a parallelogram. So first things first, a parallelogram is a two-dimensional figure that has four sides, which means it is a quadrilateral. Okay, so first let's go ahead and label these four sides so that we can see that which ones are parallel. So let's say that this is side A, side B, side C, and side D, okay? Notice that side A and side B are parallel, parallel to each other, and side C and side D are parallel to each other, okay? So in measurement, A and B have the same measurement, and C and D have the same measurement, okay? So when we come to the formula for finding the area of a parallelogram, it is A is equal to B times H, which means area is equal to base times height. So we need to first indicate which is the base and which is the height. So this over here is our base. Sorry if my line is kind of crooked, but this over here, this line, is our base. And the height, now before um, I tell you this, think of it generally. When we're trying to measure our height, how tall we are, everybody says stand up straight so that we can see how tall you are, right? So you cannot be slanted. So when we take a look at this parallelogram, we see that we have two slanted sides, right? Side, side C and side D. They're slanted. So this can't possibly be our height because it's slanted. And in order to measure the height, it has to be straight. So what we have to do is we look at this point right over here and we draw a straight line down, okay? So we're going to draw, draw a straight line down over here so that this makes a 90 degree angle, okay? So it has to make a 90 degree angle. And it doesn't necessarily have to be this point. It could also be this point over here. So remember, straight line, and it has to make a 90 degree angle, okay? So 90 degrees. And even like once we've made these two, it, the height could be over here, 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 anywhere in between this because remember, the measurement is all going to be the same, okay? So this is our height. So we'll label this H, okay? So now, let's say that our base is, let's say it is 8 inches, okay? And our height is 5 inches. So in order to calculate the area, we have to do base times height. So our base is 8 inches times our height, which is 5 inches. So we know that 8 times 5 is 40. So our area of the parallel of this parallelogram is 40 inches to the second power okay so remember whenever we calculate area we have to put it to the second power okay so 8 times 5 is equal to 40 so the area of this parallelogram is 40 inches to the second power okay so that's all you need to know about the area of a parallelogram so remember the height always has to be straight okay that's the sum that's what we mo mostly some of us miss is so because sometimes they're going to try to confuse you and they'll say okay so this is five inches this is eight inches and let's say that this is four inches okay so most of us what we do is say eight times four is 32 so the area of this parallelogram is 32 inches now remember height has to be straight so it'll be 8 times 5, which is 40 inches, okay? So I hope you guys learned how to calculate the area of a parallelogram. And if you need extra practice problems on this topic, then please go ahead and visit our website at brownsysmacclub.com. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!